Lewis structure of cesium selenide. This darkened area on the periodic table that looks like a staircase separates the metals from the non-metals. Cesium is a metal from the far left. Selenium is a non-metal from the right-hand side of the staircase. That's important because when a metal and a non-metal combine, it makes an ionic compound. And that means that electrons are transferred from one atom to the other, from the metal to the non-metal always. Now, cesium is in group one, so I want you to draw the symbol CS with a single dot around it. CS with one valence electron. Selenium is in group 16. It needs six valence electrons. So give yourself the SE with the one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Now, all the non-metals except for hydrogen want a full octet, you've heard of the octet rule probably, of eight valence electrons. That's what makes them stable. Selenium brought six, and so it needs two more to have that full octet. Now we can get one from this cesium atom, but where is it going to get another one? You're going to need to bring in a second cesium atom with its one valence electron and draw an arrow from it to the selenium because it's going to give away its electron as well. So in the end, we have a selenium that brought six electrons and now has two extra. That makes eight electrons total. It's two more than it brought originally, so it has a minus two charge. Each of the cesiums had one but gave it away, so I want you to draw it with no valence electrons. And because you lost a minus charge, it actually gets a positive charge. When you minus a negative, it turns plus. And I want you to draw a second one on the other side because there are two of them. And there you go. This is the completed Lewis structure for cesium selenide. This is you showing the transfer of electrons. Not too bad, you can draw all ionic Lewis structures in this way, as long as you know how many electrons are on the metals and non-metals to start with. Beautiful. Best of luck.